Okay, so for this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few variations uh, for playing kickball, uh, primarily um, the defensive side of kickball. So for a child or student using a walker, um, you can have them, you can provide them with a ramp, or if able, they can stand and just use one hand to roll. Um, also, if the walker has a seat, and if they need to sit down and roll, they can do that as well. An important safety uh, concern here is just to make sure either the uh, PE teacher, um, another adult such as a paraprofessional, and possibly even another student is standing next to um, the student just um, in case a ball is coming back at them and they don't have that quick of a reaction time, um, or if they're unable to bend down and pick up the ball safely, the adult or the student can pick it up for them. And if they're able to, then that student can be given the ball and throw it to either first base or wherever they're throwing it to, or just the student or adult can play defense for them other than pitching. So again, they can either grab onto the walker and roll it, or they can sit down. And if they want to, they could use two hands to roll the ball or one hand to roll the ball at the um, kicker. We'll provide the student with the ramp once they are seated at their walker. And if it has a crossbar such as this one, place it on their lap, provide them with the ball, and again, make sure there's an adult and or another student next to them for safety concerns on the defensive side. So then allow them to just place the ball on the top of the ramp, let them aim it towards the kicker, which I have as the red spot again, and then allow them to just let it roll on down. The other variation for a ramp, if you don't have a wooden ramp such as that or materials such as PVC pipe make one of your own. You can always use a broken down cardboard box or even a poster board. And then same thing, just allow the student to get to the designated spot to pitch the ball. And then if they have the seat, allow them to sit down in the walker, provide them with the ball, and then aim it and roll it down the ramp. Okay, so a lot of similar modifications go for the wheelchair as well. Um, a lot of the student to either self-position themselves in the correct spot to pitch the ball, or you as the adult, or even another student can position that as well. Um, make sure um, for safety concerns that again, the adult or and or another student is with them, and then make sure their safety belt is fastened and that their wheels are locked as well. And then they, if they have good upper extremity and trunk control, you can allow them to roll the ball on their own. Um, you can provide them with the ramp or the poster board again um, to make sure that they get the ball to the kicker successfully. If they are using the ramp or the poster board, it might be beneficial for them to swing out the leg rests, depending on how the um, ramp is constructed. If they won't uh, get in the way or rub against their legs, they can keep their foot rests where they were. Um, also, if they don't need their foot rests and if they're just rolling it regularly and don't want to hit their wheelchair with their hand or with the ball, you can swing the leg rests out of the way and then just roll the ball, making sure that safety belt's fastened again between their legs. So I'm unable to demonstrate most of the offensive side for kickball, but I can go ahead and explain that. So what we're going to do is if uh, the student uses a walker, um, they can either stand at the spot or again, if they have the seat, they can put it down and sit. It all depends on their balance and their coordination skills. But when um, they do kick the ball, they can have a student run for them. That way, 
Um, they don't have to um, potentially fall or have any issues with their walker headed down to first base. Similarly, for wheelchair users, um, allow them to position themselves accordingly, make sure their wheels are locked, their safety belt is fastened, and again, that their leg rests are obviously out of the way. And same thing goes if they have a power wheelchair or anything too, if their leg rest can be positioned out of the way. Um, and then again, make sure they have another student to run for them once they do kick the ball. Um, also, another important variation is a larger ball or also a brightly colored ball to make it easier to hit and see.